Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bowhunter Die. We hope that you were able to tune in the last couple episodes where we were able to kind of look back at the last 10 years and show you some of the best hunts that our team voted on. So if you haven't had a chance to do that, I would recommend that you absolutely take a look at some of those hunts because there's some good ones for sure. I tell you what, this week's kind of fun. We've got a phone call earlier in the week from Dustin saying, you are not going to believe this, but I had a chance to chase down a mountain lion, and sure enough, he does. Take a look right now. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, Monday, March 30th, I think. Um, anyway, I uh, got a call from Rich, my business partner, this morning. I was going to do a bunch of construction work at our house. I'm putting a ba bathroom in the basement. And, um, Rich called me. He's like, hey, bring me a long range rifle. So I grabbed one and he was down at one of the ranches. And uh, before I got out of town, he had texted me and said, hey, you're, you grab a lion tag because mine's expired and we found this mountain lion eating on a kill. So I did and uh, I got about 15 miles out of town. Another one of our buddies called and said, hey, Rich just called me. Um, don't shoot that thing with the rifle because I'm bringing the dogs. So. I had, his name is Tony, I had him swing into the lodge, so he's picking up my bow right now. I literally do not have uh, a bow with me. I've got my little DJI camera right here, and I got my long range rifle in the back, and that's it. So anyway, I don't even know if this is gonna work, but if it does, then I guess I'll, I'll have this clip explaining what was going on. So Tony should be down, we should both get to the ranch. I'll get there about 15 minutes ahead of him. But um, we'll see what happens. I've never shot a lion with my bow. Just kind of worked out perfectly that uh, Rich's tag was expired, poor guy. So anyway, uh, we're gonna get after it. And one way or the other, we're gonna have a good time. This is not what I intended for my Monday morning, but I'll take it. A day in, out in the, in the wilderness or whatever you wanna call it, the flats, the prairie. Um, it's always a good day. So we do have a couple cool pictures. Uh, they got through their their uh, spotting scope this morning of a cat eating on a kill. We don't know what it is, but uh, I would imagine it's a deer or elk. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Hopefully uh, we get something cool to happen here shortly. Hey, thanks for taking me. This thing goes in places it really shouldn't go. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> well, we, not what we had planned for the day, but uh, Rich came out this morning and spotted a lion over here on this kill. It turns out the kill's actually a uh, porcupine. But, so we got one of our good friends, Tony Larson, back here. Dogging up. We're gonna kick him loose and see what we can see. Right there, cat. Alright, we just jumped that cat, or the dogs did. He's pretty lazy uh, from laying on that kill. But as you can see, we're in some gnarly, gnarly stuff in here. So we're gonna, uh, I'm going to put the camera down so that I don't drop something. I went and bought a tag and then uh, our good friend Tony Larson, he actually has an outfitting business called American Outfitters and uh, great dude. We've been good friends for a long time. Um, he's got some hounds and so we brought him down and uh, we're on the trail now. So if I can not die. Um, this is the best kind of social distancing there ever is. So, we're gonna get after it and see what we find. They got us fruit, don't they? Yeah. There's trees. No, don't miss. <laughs> no pressure, eh? I'm not in sheep shape. I'm in fat carpenter shape. That pup's still like, hmm. Oh, 
I see. Thanks, Richard. This is social distancing right here. Oh, freaking awesome. It's crazy because like I've been on lots of hounds on with Scott and Andrew, but my anticipation is pretty chill until, until that happens. First cat I've ever killed over a tree. Uh, nobody better to do it with than Richard right here, and Tony's one of our, our best friends, so freaking sweet. Sometimes it pays to be the last person out of the <laughs> Well, this is uh, Corona Kitty 2020. As you can see, we're social distancing. Um, <laughs> One of us is. <laughs> well, Tony is back here. Uh, but no, not to make light of the situation, but uh, we've been around each other for at least two weeks, so we either got it or we don't. But uh, this is definitely not how I planned for my Monday morning to go. Uh, they had spotted this cat this morning on a kill site and we got over there and found out it was actually a porcupine uh, and so we went to the kill site and then the dog we went a couple hundred yards and uh, they jumped this jumped this big female a few hundred yards later she was treed and from there it's pretty much don't miss and I'm glad that I didn't because I shot my bow last night for the first time since November fortunately it was only like 16 yards anyway thanks to Richard for calling me even though his tag was expired. <laughs> I would have been just as happy to be here with him. So Miller, of course, yep. has been on all these adventures with us and be shooting. We're not gonna leave out Tony back there hiding. <laughs> Witness protection, Tony. So anyway, hope you guys are staying safe and uh, we'll be killing turkeys soon. Bow hunter die. Guys, this is about the 10th take I think we've done on this. We're a little rusty ever since we've been locked into our homes for the last month, not used to this. Uh, but what a great hunt that Dustin went on. I mean, come on, to be able to get a friend, a call from your friend, seeing a mountain lion, eating a porcupine, be able to get some dogs together, rush out there, and actually be able to find them and tree them is pretty darn amazing. That was a great hunt. Next up, my son decides to say that he can be a full-fledged cameraman, so... I let him run with the camera. Let's take a look how we did and doing a little bit of prep work for the fall. It's time to go. Alright guys, so right now my dad is in the store, Sullivan's, it's a local grocery store by our cabin, getting some COVID-19 essentials, so anyways, let's just stay in the car and stay safe. We did our COVID shopping.
No turkeys. Easter. We just got done getting our COVID-19 shopping done. Oh, come on. And it's supposed to rain here in a little bit. They just did a nice clear cut on this property. So we're going to go and we're going to hurry up and get this stand hung. But first we need to <laughs> chase our dogs. Hey, Mia. Okay guys, so finished lunch, main lunch. Now we are gonna take a ride and go set up some tree stand, so let's tag along. That was Greg's fault. Well, guys, thanks for watching. That's a wrap. We were able to get done exactly what we wanted to get done today before it started raining. Now it's time to get home. Happy Easter. It was definitely fun to get out and not have to do all the camera work myself and be able to let him do all those cuts and takes and actually put that little uh, piece together. I was pretty proud of him to see that he was able to do that. But you know what? I am pumped about that stand that we hung. We didn't have a chance to actually show you what I did in that spot, but man, we clear cut that spot and we've just made the ultimate pinch point. I am positive and I am confident that that spot this year is going to pay some big dividends and hopefully one of these big bucks that I've been chasing made it through the season and is going to come right through there because it is a dynamite spot. But until next time guys, we hope that you're following the rules, you're staying home, you're staying away from people, keeping your distance. You know, we all want to be safe. Luckily for us that we're outdoorsmen and women and we be able to, you know, do the things that we love to do outdoors. Thank goodness. I would not want to be trapped in a major city right now. I'll be honest with you. I love the fact that I can still go in my backyard, go into the woods, hike around. It won't be long. They're going to have these public lands open back up and we're going to be able to get out there and do all the things that we love to do. So until next time, stay safe and we'll see you around. Bow hunter die. None of our fans and members have got this wicked COVID bug. We're going to redo this. Hey guys, I hope you're safe at home. Okay, we're redoing. You got your problem with your ears there? Am I blowing your ears out, Brad?